here's why I've been so frustrated with messages in iOS 17. So full disclosure, this is two to three weeks before they're likely to actually release iOS 17 as I'm sitting here recording this. It is possible some things may have changed or improved by the time they release the operating system. And some things will definitely have changed by December or March because there are features that are still unreleased even to the beta. The other disclosure, while I was preparing to make this video, two of the issues I have been struggling with since the beta first came out and I've been using it on my primary phone this entire time, two of the issues I've been having all summer, I solved. Why didn't I solve them sooner? Because they're not intuitive. So I'll go over those and I'll go over the fixes, but the first three drafts of this outline, I did not think there was a solution for it. So. Part of my frustration might be alleviated after I've been using it for a couple more weeks, but all summer, I didn't know how many people are out there who don't know how to fix these things. I don't know. Apple promised a lot with their messages improvements this year, and a lot of those sounded really good when I saw the keynote. So most of my issues are with the layout changes between iOS 16 and iOS 17. Giving your conversations this sleek new look. Here's an image of iOS 16. So previously, all of the messages apps, they, they were there at the bottom and it was annoying to find the photos versus the camera and they worked a little bit differently, but they were just in a row. So you could reorder them. You could have, oh, these are the ones I use all the time, like at least right there at the front. And if you wanted to get to more of them, you'd scroll past. And it was annoying how it would add things automatically when you installed a new app that happened to have a messages feature and it was automatically showing up in your messages app. But, but you could actually go down and remove it from the messages app within the messages app. That was a thing you could do. I don't know how many people did it, but you could do it. <laughs> this is the layout in iOS 17. There's no apps just sitting there to pick from. In order to access any of the apps, you have to click on this plus button. So this does look cleaner, but it also means that a lot of the apps that I accessed all the time aren't right there. I have to go inside and find them too. This is probably the biggest one. The apps in messages are divided up into two kind of invisible categories, stickers and everything else. Here it says stickers and more and some other Apple things in between. Now that's great, I've used lots of stickers. Stickers are great, but here's the problem. I go into stickers and this should shock nobody. I have some Star Wars stickers packs. That's great. If we keep scrolling down, there's only two Star Wars sticker packs in there. I've purchased five. If I go back in there, we can see the other Star Wars sticker packs are in more. How am I supposed to remember where the different stickers are? The problem is ambiguity leads to inaction. So people, when we have to pause and remember, oh, what's the next step? Or, oh, was this thing here or there? We are less likely to follow through and do it that makes this change make these apps less useful to me because that ambiguity of not being certain of where my particular sticker pack is, is it really a sticker or is it a pretend sticker? Who cares? I'm less likely to use them because of that little piece of indecision. Ambiguity leads to inaction. You'll see the brand new drawer that brings all my stickers into one place, like my recently used stickers, Memoji, and any sticker packs I've downloaded. Problem number three, if we scroll over and you're wondering how often I send stickers from Alaska Airlines and Taco Bell, the answer is I don't and I wouldn't ever do that. Apps are too hard to remove from messages in iOS 17. In iOS 17, you can't remove apps from only within the messages app inside the messages app. So this, this sticker layout actually looks somewhat like the layout that I was used to in iOS 16. So if I scroll down, and it says edit, oh great, that's so cool. I should be able to delete them. Oh, okay, I can rearrange them here. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna hit the edit button again, and oh cool, I can delete it. So I hit go and, and I hit delete, and it asks if I want to delete the app. I don't wanna delete the Alaska app. I should maybe delete the Taco Bell app, but I don't ever need to see it in messages, like ever, ever, ever. And if I go away from stickers and into my more category, 
Uh, there's no edit button at all. Already in iOS 16, people were really likely to just leave apps in there that they never used because you had to dig in a few menus to, to remove them just like I showed you with the stickers. What are they gonna do in iOS 17? Are we just gonna be plagued by annoying apps that we don't wanna see in there? I actually thought until yesterday you could not remove the apps at all because I didn't see a way to do it inside of messages. And you can't, um, but you can do it inside of the settings app because that's what people really wanna do. They wanna go out of the messages app all the way over to settings to remove the stupid apps that they don't want to see in messages. Then by default, more and more people will leave around the garbage apps, making their experience using apps inside of messages even more annoying, even more cumbersome, and not bringing joy. And I feel like that's the job of the Messages app, is to bring us a little joy in our day. So let's actually see how to remove an app from only the Messages app. We're gonna open up Settings, and scroll down to Messages, and it's in iMessage Apps. Okay, so here's where I do it. And it says these ones are only in messages, like they don't really have their own app, which is a relatively newer thing. Um, I'll point out that the two Star Wars apps that I have that it actually considers stickers are in this category. And then other stickers or whatever, messages apps that have a real app associated with them, that's all these other ones. And so I turn them off to get rid of them. I don't need these inside of my messages Here's where it partially breaks down is we're gonna go back into messages and I click on the plus button. And so when I go down to more, there are fewer there, right? Like I, I, I solved part of the problem. But when I go to stickers um, and I scroll, it still has the ones I turned off. This seems like a smallish bug that might actually be taken care of in the next few weeks, but it might not be too. So when I go to edit, I still see the same old thing, but I can reorder here, which brings me to the next thing. This is how you reorder. You see the little lines and you move them up and down just like you did before in the Messages app, which is a very cromulent way to move stuff around on iOS. This is our problem number four, is there are different ways to reorder the apps in stickers and everything else. So there's a reason that I thought that you couldn't rearrange the everything else, and that's because there's no little movie lines. The, the lines that say that you can move stuff around are not there. There's no edit button, there's nothing. So when I click on this, one would have forgiven me for thinking that there's no way to reorder or delete these. I can actually rearrange these. What I do is I press and hold until it makes the little haptic clicky feeling, and I can move it up. And then I can actually move it up to here if I want to. And, and I will probably for some of these. So Grogu sticker pack gets moved up above. Well, Bitmoji probably goes above that one. Yeah, GIF, GIF keyboard goes up there. When do I send Memoji? So like, I can put most of the Star Wars stickers together, right? I can't put them all together because some of them are stickers. But I could put more of them together. And in fact, I'm actually gonna move the uh, image creation ones up above because I use those way more. But you'll notice I can't put the sticker ones in here with the everything else. When am I gonna use Apple Cache? So I can get these ones out of here that I don't actually ever use. And I could probably add some of the Star Wars stickers because they're not really stickers up there too. So I can use the ones that I use the very most up into this first section you get to one. So I have less issue with remembering where they live if I use them actually literally all the time. It's still another click away compared to when it was just sitting there, but it is better than I thought, you know, yesterday. But having a ridiculous list does increase our cognitive load. And I would encourage you to go in to the settings app and get rid of the ones you don't want and do some reordering right now. But what are the odds you're gonna do it again every time you install an app that might have a messages component? It's still kind of messy and it still feels kind of broken, but I might hate it less in a couple weeks. All right, let's talk about some good features for messages in iOS 17. One of the cool things is check-in. You can let your friend know that you've arrived with check-in. 
the idea behind check-in is I'm going somewhere and for some reason, I want someone else to know when I've arrived at that location. Maybe because they worry, maybe because there's actually some risk of some kind, but I want them to know. So in check-in, one of those, you know, other apps or features inside of messages, you let your friend know when you've arrived. The iPhone keeps the progress up, but if you stop making progress, it'll alert you. And if you haven't responded in 15 minutes, it will alert your friend. You can choose how much data you wanna share with the person who you're doing the check-in with. It can be limited, this is just current locations, battery, network signal, or it can be full information, including your route traveled and the location of the last iPhone unlock and Apple Watch removal, so when those things happened. Here they have example data, so you can see the phone battery. That matters because you've stopped making progress when your phone battery dies, right? And full, and that shows the whole route. Continue. They'll be notified when you send the check-in, when you arrive at your destination, if you're delayed and do not respond when prompted, or your phone is offline, like maybe you don't have signal. Now, here's the reason I haven't actually tried it out. It says that check-in is not available to send to this recipient because, you know, no one else in my life is crazy enough to install betas. There are a few other features like live stickers. You can make stickers within the app out of your real photos. There's the catch-up arrow that allows you to catch up on really chatty group chats without having to remember where you left off. And search improvements. I don't know that I've searched enough to have noticed any improvements, but they exist. And the feature that I was most looking forward to in messages, which is react with any emoji or sticker. Instead of just like the thumbs up and exclamation point they give you. But as I sit here, it's still not even in the beta. So it's going to come later this year. Let's hope it'll actually be good. So I'm obviously not in love with some of these changes, although I might start feeling more positively in a couple of weeks when I've gotten used to the things I actually can fix. But I do think that I will continue to find myself groaning when I'm looking for something that is slightly less used, like one of my Star Wars stickers, and I don't know if it's really a sticker or if it's a everything else kind of app. And that ambiguity is going to be really frustrating and I think it will continue to be. So how do you feel about the changes to messages in iOS 17? Are you excited? Do you find them more appealing than I do? Are you frustrated? Let me know in the comments.